Do you ever feel like you're on the wrong train? Going too fast or slow? Confused, lost, but you continue. Being away does something to you. It's bittersweet. Days here start slowly. With no signal, there is no need to check your phone. Instead, you go for walks, surrounded by nature. It's a different start. I've been feeling a bit confused lately, lonely. That feeling of being on the wrong path, suddenly rethinking your life, plans, relationships, work, if what you're doing makes sense. It was time to slow down. It's amazing how your perspective changes when you hit the bricks. You know how they say community is one of the most important aspects of life? Well, there is a strong sense of community here. People are kind. There is something in their eyes. They shine. Every day they walk around the temple at least one time. A sacred path. The practice is called Kora. It's a huge part of a Tibetan's life a way to attain a spiritual and mental enlightenment. Some days are cold but refreshing. I always had in mind a monastery is a place where you go and get yourself together, and it certainly is a good start. There is something therapeutic in the air. But the truth is, no matter where you go, if there is conflict in your life, it will follow you wherever you go. I discovered I've been doing empty meditation all these years. For monks, meditation is more than breath work. It is a spiritual practice that has the potential to transform your soul. Having a chat with a monk, he told me, you can only really meditate once you find yourself. You need to make peace with the past. Otherwise, you're wasting your time. You're doing empty meditation. He said, you can't read books unless you've studied how to read before, right? The same concept applies to meditation. You can't deeply meditate unless you study your soul. Meditation is powerful. Monks spend their whole life studying philosophy. Since they're little, you'd be surprised by their writing skills. They also play like normal kids, but with different toys, I guess. I do a lot of journaling. There's plenty of time to sit down with your ideas. Sometimes I write a list of the things I want to do. Not much. Go for a walk, find an interesting character, take a good photograph. At the beginning of my trip, I was having dinner with two monks. During the meal, one of them said, ask me anything. I know you're here looking for answers. I asked him, why did you become a monk? He said, friend, everyone wants to be happy, find meaning, be in peace. If there is one thing I've learned in 24 years as a monk is that if you're constantly on the move, distracted, it is not possible. That's why I chose this life. I left that day, continued with my journey and then a week later, it hit me. In that restaurant, I was having one of the most important moments of my life. That time a monk gave me the key to happiness over dinner. I figured most of the time you don't stop and think about these little moments. 